Recording? Yes. Okay, excellent. Welcome, everybody. Um, no, this is not my usual office. This is actually my, my cousin's front living room. I'm visiting family, and we're here discussing Nikan business. I, uh, he's a, a firefighter and a, a renovator and a really smart and cool guy, and so I'm hoping that this conversation may, may lead to a new Nikan Next Gen leader. Anyway, um, this is the first Friday of the month. Um, I wanted to, this is not, doesn't have to be a long call, but I did want to ask for your opinion. We have ha held these launch partner calls on a monthly basis for the purpose of um, establishing a rhythm to the business, particularly in North America, for events, the monthly events. Um, we, uh, I'm actually doing a, a renovation, if you want to call it that, to the flyer. We're looking to modify the flyer so that it's more, more like what we want it to be. Uh, if you if you saw the, excuse me one second, hold me one second. Zio, I'm just on a call. I, I'm I'm hosting a call. If you could just, okay, sorry, thanks. Sorry guys. Um, if you saw the uh, promo piece, and if you haven't seen it, please go check it out at Life and Balance Tools. There's a new promotional card. There's one in English, one in Spanish that talks about starting your own online business. Um, it was designed um, to be a handout to help with promoting the concept of the Hispanic market joining us uh, for those who are interested in starting an online business. That image that concept is being integrated into a new flyer. So I hope to have a new flyer for launch partners to use as a flyer to promote your, your monthly event or any event for that matter. That'll be more directed to prospects. Um, so that's, that's in the works. I'll let you know about it as soon as it's done. Um, however, the attendance, the number of monthly meetings and flyers that are being produced in the last couple of months dropped considerably, as you know. Um, and so the purpose of launch partners is, is floundering. It's, it's like, okay, what are we really doing here? Are we really launch partners? Are we really committed to a rhythm of the business? And now more than ever, uh, we need it, especially with our new president, our new direction, the new momentum that we're we're looking to establish, we need all hands on deck and a commitment to creating these these monthly events, which of course are only useful if you have people in the pipeline. So I wanted to get your feedback today on the format of the event, the the need to continue this. Uh, there will be an event the third Saturday of this month. Ben and I will be in Italy, as will Ruth, uh, for, the, um, for the Team Kaizen trip, but we have people who are going to be hosting and presenting. So far we've, we've got uh, Susan, um, Bo, and Dennis Williams, and we may have one or two more. So that's gonna happen this, this month. But going forward next month on, is there a format change you'd like to see? Would you like to see the content different? The, the way it is right now, it's designed to be support for your monthly event. And obviously the testimonials are great, but the emphasis is what would I do different if I had my business to start over again? That information is designed to encourage your, your guests and your prospects to make a committed decision and to look at uh, what a launch might look like. It's, you know, the goal is to be a leverage for you to encourage a certain behavior in your, in your, in your guests and your prospects to don't just get in the can, but launch. What does that look like? So that's what it's been thus far. But if you don't feel that it's serving you, then what would you like to see? What would you like to, for it to be in order for it to be um, more effective for you? That is the question that I have. Um, Launch Partners has a WhatsApp channel. If you have some suggestions or some ideas, um, just text them there. That way we can 
we can evaluate them as they come up over the next 24, 48 hours. If you think of something, um, if you have something on your mind right now, don't, you know, feel free to share. Uh, Cause I'd like to see the, the rhythm continue, but I'd like to see it become more effective, which means more engagement. Yeah, Ruth. So when I was thinking about, um, I love when we ask the question, okay, how did you get involved? And if you were to do it differently now, what would you do? But I think for those that are looking at the business, I'm not sure they really want to know how I got involved. I think I want to, I think they're going to want to know why do I do Nikan? Like, so for me, it's like, okay, I do Nikan because I love the flexibility or I love that any person can do Nikan because it doesn't matter what your background is. You could be, you know, a housewife, you could be no, no education or you could have a PhD. So I feel like sometimes with this third Saturday thing, it's a great impact for somebody that already has really is just on the edge of joining. But I really would like to have, I have people that are brand new, like never even heard of Nikan. So I think I would like something that says, wow, you know, I do Nikan because I have my flexibility, because I have the income, because I can be home with my kids. The reasons why, what gets me excited, and that's why you should do it too. I okay, have- so maybe, maybe they could start with their personal story and then the question become, so here you are today, 10 years later, nine years later, seven years later, 12 years later, why do you do Nikan today? Yeah. That, and that changes. So I think that if we can get excited about, that's why we're still here. And then you have these people that are brand spanking you like, oh, I didn't think of that. I didn't think of all those options. I don't know. I just thought, and the reason why I say that is because this Saturday we had the May the 4th be with you. And one of the focuses, Rick just said to me, you got three minutes. You just say why. And I thought, I have many whys, but I'm going to focus on this one why that just happened this week. And I'm like, that is why I do this business. So if I can get that energy out in three minutes for a brand new person sitting there, there's no idea. I don't know. I mean, we're doing it this weekend, so I don't know. But no, I'm, no. That, listen, I'm, I'm open thinking. to the feedback. That's why we're talking. Yeah, um, I'm hoping because we want these. About it. It's exciting. We, we don't want these events to feel like. Um, I don't want anybody on this call to feel guilty because I'm not doing something. <laughs> it's funny, you know. I, I I put questions out all the time on the chats. Um, hey, who can who can host this event or whatever? And then I get. 10 different responses as to why somebody can't be there. I'm like, why are you telling me why you can't be there? I didn't ask to know why you can't be there. I asked to know who Who can't be there. It's like the weirdest thing, but that tells me something. It tells me there's a sense of guilt when, when people are not able to do something and that's the wrong energy associated with the activity. So we don't want the launch partners, the launch partner chat, by the way, another comment about the launch partner chat. Guys, please, it is not a personal dialogue. Please send your personal comments and your congratulations and so forth that are outside of the scope of this business to a personal chat. It, it, it drives me absolutely bananas when I see all that talking about one silly thing that may be nice to pat somebody on the back, but you know, there's 20 or 30 other people who don't necessarily want to listen to that chatter and it takes away from the value of the chat. So either I shut the chat down and start all over with a whole new group or we clean it up. So I'm looking to clean it up right now. I think that includes, that includes the agenda. So let's make this agenda effective. Mm -hmm. So that's my feedback. That's great feedback. Thank you, Ruth. Does anyone else have any feedback? This is Yoko. I'm going to give you a person that has treasured all of your effort, Mike, and Rick's effort, and you guys putting, you know, Ben, all of you leaders putting out all your time and knowledge, okay? But here is somebody that has survived on retail for 15 years, is trying to make a transition, and has difficult timing because and, and I, I i respect your whatsapp i i totally agree it's not a social media um but the point i'm making here is for me i i see uh, not so much two different um types of events but two different ways of looking at the business you're strongly a launch individual and your input is really key to somebody's like me or many many silvers i'm sure that don't know how to make those steps um, I think the thing with Rick, which he does, is bringing in, you know, tons of new people to look. 
and that's where I think that that uh, Ruth is right. You know, it, it's it's all of this new, this wonderful energy that we can share with people that don't even know what the heck we're doing. I, I don't know what. I, all I can tell you is the actual physical events for us in Southern California. And I don't work it alone. I work it with Bob and Marianne. And you know, it's it's California may be just different. People don't like to like go out a lot, and they they would rather look on their cell phone. So I've been pretty successful in having people at least put the half an hour aside to to look at this okay. now then to go back and chase them you know and then find out what their what their responses are is, is another point and you know it's it's like i don't know what it is and like you're saying maybe it's just the fact of going out looking for a, a tons of other people and i think for me i have to look at at a higher higher level of, of person like you're saying that has a, a stronger that that's what ben's message was this past week you know, think bigger and not think of someone just for your team. So it's, 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 it's amazing to me how long it takes for certain people that have, I call it corporate business experience. I guess we're just like so tuned into a, a certain way of thought that I'm breaking through myself. I, I just think it's, it's a whole new perspective in network marketing. And um, that's why I'm, I'm approaching strictly uh, Gen X's and millennials because they don't have the i call it the structure of being stuck in 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 business for you know 40 50 years they are brand new and open and that, i think that's why they fly so i think you're so, event are, so are, are, are you saying then that we should modify the event in some way to accommodate that messaging I'm not sure. I'm just saying that I'm getting people on 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 the on the cells and, and PCs. Okay, mostly cells because they're yeah. running around like idiots, right? But yeah. but but it's, and so I think that format is um, is amazing. I just don't know the fact of the. I think the event is important too. I mean, it, because you know you, people come by and then actually see something and then they say, "Oh wow, you know this is I've never seen anything like this." So. They're all the, the event and the flyer is key, but I'm not sure how for me personally how I've I've not been that successful in getting people physically to events. Mm, okay, um, again, part of this, um, the idea of this event is I think needs to be discussed too because if the the format as we have the Power A team call right now is specific it assumes that the people that are being exposed to this call already know about me again. This is a lock-in event in the idea that if they know about me again and they you're looking at helping them get started, you know, in the right way, you want to have that extra lever that says, Hey, this is the way you should go after this. And it's, it's not the front end. So the confusion I think is, are you trying to use this call as a one-stop shop to cover all gambits? No, I, I no, I, I I really look at Rick's call as a as a as a good you know good way to introduce people in addition to you know the the uh, the websites and or you know ourselves. But right. I think the yours is no question. It's it's for the serious business launcher. In other words, someone that really wants to make five, ten, fifteen grand and really put some time and effort into it. And so it, for me, it's an ABC call as a follow up to an initial introduction to Nikan. That's essentially what it is. Right. I got you. So, so but, but I'm physically, you, to physically get somebody to that event, which the flyer is the key implementer, is I'm just saying has been difficult for me. Okay. okay. Now, keep in mind this flyer can also be used. You can. It's it's all in how you word it. Doesn't have to be a hotel. Many of you have also used the flyer to promote an online um, visit, you know, somehow. So if you're saying um, we need to relax the attitude about whether this is a live meeting in a hotel or a home, a live meeting could constitute an online meeting, an invitation to an online meeting where you may have um, five or 10 people, Yoko, from your community, your, your network plugged into that. Um, we haven't really been hard on anybody who's joined the meeting that way. Um, but if you want us to, you know, encourage that so that all come you all come you welcome, you know, then I'm fine with that too. We, we, we just want to increase 
the exposure and but understand what the nature of this particular meeting is thus far do we need to change the meeting or do we need to change an understanding of how to create that exposure i, I think that, that that your message is is definitely a a launch message message but you know what Ruth's idea of, of why Nick and maybe a great just just great energizer like you're saying okay. I don't send, I don't send people to to this to our to your third event that has that is zero knowledge in other words it's not an introduction because I think right. it's overwhelming um, right. uh, but but I think the why is really really that energy is is really key to you know kind of like not at the end but at the beginning uh, okay. that's, a, that's a great point, Ruth. So that, that might then be, we might tailor then their story uh, to how did you learn about this and why are you doing this? It could be the way we ask the question of the presenters so that they cover the why, they understand the importance of that. And then the last question being, if you had to do it again, what would you do different? Maybe then that covers the the, the, that, the, that would be yeah that would that what i call i call that uh, more of a um what i don't know mild or whatever mild close it, it's an easy close okay definitely good to take into account so i think we've agreed then if we have the why added to the dialogue then that, that creates the dynamic that we're after so i think I the energy would, would, yeah i would like to answer so it's not necessarily the why i did it 19 years ago that was a whole different thing but why no. Years later, still wanting why, to do something. Why now? Yeah, why now? And I why think now? that's more powerful because we're like, well, that was 19 years ago. You know, your life was completely different. Why do you still keep doing what you're doing today? What? That's what a great you question. Why now? Yeah. Why now? Yeah. Today. Yeah. So okay. um, I, this is you, look, you 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 want to ask something, Dean? Yeah, I, I was going to say I like both. You know, why did you start to begin with? Because people who are just looking at this, even though I know it was supposed to be later to the introduction that they would have already heard, but the guests have been so consistently powerful, successful, articulate, that they're able to um, convey that, I think, in a way that's good for new people to hear as to why they started and then why they still do it. Mm. Like you said, Ruth, and because um, maybe if they haven't had enough background when they get onto this, just hearing what they would do, even though we would want them ideally to launch that way, it might be a little frightening to them and they may want to back off. I'm not sure. I mean, I and but you guys need the help in getting people started, and yep. that's why we need to say what you're too shy to say right now. So you're yep. asking me to back off, and I'm saying no. That's not what you want me to do. You you got me on the phone because of who I am, and and that I can exude the confidence and tell somebody, hey, if you had to start this, if I had to do this all again, this is what I would do. You don't want me backing off. You don't want to be shy about maybe somebody getting afraid because. They're at a stage right now where they have to make a decision. And remember, nothing changes until that decision. So let's get them to make the best decision possible. Right. No, I get that. And, and I, you know, ideally, there would have been an ABC and all of that before they got on this call. Right. But I think it's that, it's that thread sort of from beginning to where things are now. And then there's always, for all of us, looking back, the wisdom of what we might have changed in yeah. so many areas. So I, I love all of it, really. So I, I like this. I, I like what you said, Dee. So maybe the questions ought to be, why did you start? Why are you doing it now? And if you had to do it again, what would you do different? Yep. Mm -hmm. I like that. I mean, it, I, I think that's really great because it covers then, now, and if you know, the, the wisdom part of it as to, right. so if you're somebody looking at this, you'll be ex inspired by this. If you're somebody looking to make a decision, you'll understand this would be the right, a good decision. Um, I, I think that's a great format. Let's run with it. Try it. If there's any other suggestions, um, we're certainly open. I've just got another question. Um, the card, and I did look at it, but I don't, haven't looked at it for a bit. Um, and, uh, and the flyer you're talking about indicating that um, 
social media would be part of that or an online business or something. Then how does that connect ease of fee this third Saturday call as well? Okay, I, I haven't seen the flyer. I, I've got two versions of the flyer being produced, and I haven't decided which one to go with yet. So until I see it in my face, I won't know how to answer that okay. question. Okay. Yeah, but but it will. The idea is to create um, a dialogue to for a prospect to look at this and say this might be something I'm interested in checking out, because they don't come um, like we we did the. The launch partners strategy in 2017 through 2018 was really us talking to us, right? It was about we need to round up the troops and find out who's in the in the trenches and who wants to play the game at the next level and so forth. That was kind of what that was about. We need to transition to this being an outreach campaign. We need to get people looking at us from the outside of our inner circle out of our normal conversation of consultants and whatnot. And so to give, to give you a tool to promote something of, of your event, whether it's an online event or an in-home, which you can do by the way, anytime, this flyer is gonna be available to, to do events of any kind. It's up to you how to use it. But I just wanted to give you something new that could be an outreach type thing and using the same image as the card because then you can use also that card to personally hand things out. If you're out and about doing your business, say, hey, why don't you check us out this weekend? We've got something going on. So you have the card, you have the flyer, you can post it online. It just creates a little bit of an outreach campaign. Sounds good. Mike, can I just weigh in on that additional question about yeah. why, why, uh, why are you still, basically, why are you still in the business? Every time someone has asked me how long I've been with Nikan and I tell them, they go, wow. I mean, that is, that is an impressive point for people looking at, yes, we're an older company, so we're not a startup with all that jazzy, you know, whatever. However, we are a legacy company that people, you know, 27 years later are still probably more enthusiastic than they were when they began. So what's that about? I think that's a really key thing to bring aboard. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, again, why now? Why yeah. then? Why now? And what would you yeah, do if you had to do it again? Yeah. Different. Yeah. yeah. I think that's good. Anyone else? Okay. Well, we don't have to belabor this point. As I said, for those of you who joined a little bit late, we are going to be having um, the Power A team call on the third Saturday of this month. I can't recall the date, but I'll be away. Ben will be away. Uh, Ruth will be away. But we do have uh, the guest speakers lined up to, to do that call. Um, this weekend, of course, this May 4th call um, is an opportunity for us to um, invite people to look at NECAN for the first time. It's a first look call. So definitely take advantage of that. Be sure to promote that. Um, and um, more to this, I would just say with respect to launch partners, uh, you know, hosting a monthly event is not something you do because we're telling you to do it. It's not something to do because you're a launch partner and gosh, if you're not doing it, you're a failure or anything like that. A monthly event should fulfill a part in the process of your, your business. Your, you know, we still are a business of, it's a social business. We still gather up. One of the things that continues to work with organizations that are growing is meetings. If, you, if we look to our partners in Latin America, they have meetings. They, they meet in breakfasts. They meet in coffee shops. Um, I, I had a meeting this week with three Latinos here in Toronto and we met at a, a, a coffee shop. So meetups and meetings are still the nature of our business. And so um, hosting an event once a month should be a culmination of your activities for the month. And, and the fact that it's the third Saturday, which is usually in the middle of the month, is to facilitate the fact that you're, you've ended a month with some decisions being made. You're in the middle of the month with some decisions being complement, uh, con contemplated. So again, you can have a good month end. So it's, it's supposed to serve 
the month end strategy essentially. Um, so just think about what are you doing that requires that monthly meeting or, or why is that monthly meeting important to your process of rounding out the month? It is a monthly strategy. And so tie that back to your goals. Yeah, Ruth. So I like to use this event to send out to people because they don't necessarily want to come to the house. Everybody has, they're busy. And because of the timing for us, it's early. They want to watch it at the comfort of their home or on their phone. So I do use this as a tool for that. And I do like that it's recorded because if they say, oh, I can't get to it. Can you send me a recording? I'm like, absolutely. And then the next day I send it. So I like having that as a tool. Um, and, I, and that's how I've been using it for quite a while. Sometimes they just don't want to come to that. So sometimes we have events, a physical event, that we can't be here hosting it. Saturday morning, right? I mean, there's never a great time anyway, but sometimes we're not. Well, you, with, you know, if that's something you've been doing, what have, how's that, how has that benefited you? What are the results? Well, then people, so I get feedback, I'm like, wow, I didn't know that, you know, whoever was to speak, like one time it was Suzanne or whatever, they're like, oh, I really like her back. Or who was it? Barbara Batucci was on something one time. And when I send these things out, you don't realize the connection people have. And so they come back and said, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that about Niken. I didn't know you could do that with Niken. And it opened, opened their blinders, right? So a lot of people, I think today, don't want to come and schlep someplace and take the time because time is so precious. But if I can send them something on their phone, and most of the time it is via the phone versus email, I will right. send an email and then say, oh, I just sent you an email. I text them and sent you an email. Do you want it on your phone? And they'll tell me yes or no. But they don't check their emails that often now. It That's just, true. And, and by the way, I kind of personally think, and this may just be my opinion, but I think the fact that it is live and fresh, new, you can sense because it's dated. And then they feel like this is new. This is something that's just happening rather than a recording that we did two years ago. Correct. And I totally agree with that because it's something new. It's something different. And even if you had the same speakers from last month, they're not going to necessarily right. remember. <laughs> right. uh, and plus, these are different people. Right. So I like having it to be able to send, and I like having it to be, for them to watch it on their own. If they're like at a soccer practice, they can. I said, "Oh, you can watch it on your phone while you're waiting for your daughter's practice." So yeah. they give them something to do, and so I like that. I, of course, I always would like to have them here, but it's much easier. I don't have to leave my house. I mean, it's a good thing. <laughs> but the same, you know, I think having this as a tool is important to be able to send it out to people, and having the recording is important. All right, great feedback. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Um, if you think of something else, send it through the WhatsApp chat. Um, I will bring this to the group for this next coming call. So I'll make sure that that's integrated on the next call. Um, good luck tomorrow and, and having new attendees. And, um, and for those of you who are going to be in Italy, we'll see you soon in Italy. Um, for those of you who are not, watch our, our Facebook posts and so forth because Be Unique in Italy is our hashtag. So we'll be, we'll be uh, sharing our, our photos everywhere we go. Nice. Cool. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining. Thanks for Thank the you. feedback. Yeah. And, uh, and, and Ruth, you can just send me the video file. Okay. I'll figure out. Thank you.